Praise be Jesus Christ. Most faithful Catholics recognize that the world is experiencing a chastisement right now, especially because of the reality that in the last few months, in the last year, many Catholics have been deprived of the sacraments because of government restrictions. The Lord is trying to get our attention. He's trying to draw us back to himself. The Lord wants to be the center of our lives so we can enjoy the fullness of life. Now, there are some Catholics who don't understand the biblical reality of chastisement that's also found in the tradition of the church. For example, in Revelation chapter 3, the Lord Jesus says, Those whom I love, I reprove and chastise. Be earnest, therefore, and repent. The Lord wants us to repent so that he can return with his favor and with his, with his joy and peace. In St. Faustina's diary, in paragraph 39, St. Faustina writes, One day Jesus told me that he would cause a chastisement to fall upon the most beautiful city in our country. This chastisement would be that with which God had punished Sodom and Gomorrah. I saw the great wrath of God, and a shudder pierced my heart. I prayed in silence. And then the Lord gave St. Faustina instructions on how to pray, how to intercede for her country, and in particular this city, and the Lord heard her prayer. And so it's important for us not just to freak out because we're beginning to experience chastisement, but to respond in repentance and in prayer. In our own lives, we experience chastisement. I know when I get selfish with my time, when I get negligent with my priestly duties, I lose the thrill of kingdom building. Kingdom building is a thrilling um, uh, life. It, it's, 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 it's a life filled with joy and peace. And anyone who's on the front line of kingdom building experiences the, just the wonderful delight of building kingdom. But when I get selfish with my time, when I get negligent, I lose that joy. I lose that peace. And it reminds me, hey, get back on track. Be wholehearted. Don't be afraid. Be courageous. Be bold. Don't be a coward. And when I, with the grace of God, return to fidelity, to God's inspirations in my heart, the joy returns. Jonah experienced this. It says in the book of Jonah, the word of the Lord came to Jonah set out for the great city of Nineveh and preached against it, for their wickedness has come before me. But Jonah made ready to flee to Tarshish away from the Lord. It goes on to say, The Lord, however, hurled a great wind upon the sea, and the storm was so great that the ship was about to break up. You see, things weren't working out for Jonah. The Lord was chastising him because he was running away from God's calling on his life. So let's repent before the Lord. Let's return to the Lord. Let's implore the Lord's mercy on us, on the whole world, so that he can bless us and favor us once again. Viva Cristo.